When you first come across betting odds, bookmakers and the media would have you believe it's a level playing field where you can profit by picking a winner. But think about that logically for a second. It doesn't make much sense, does it? If it were true, it would mean the bookies possess a divine power where they can predict the future. It'd also mean that nobody else could do it. Otherwise, they'd soon be out of business. Which might leave you wondering why they spend so much money promoting tipsters. <laughs> bookies don't predict the winner to make their money and understanding how betting odds work will show you why. So wherever we are in the world, betting odds work the same way. The format may change, but the underlying structure remains the same. It's just an expression of pricing. Simply put, betting odds work by reflecting the implied chance of an outcome in monetary terms inclusive of the operator's margin. It doesn't matter which sport you're betting on or where you do it from. In fact, it has nothing to do with the football teams, greyhounds, tennis players or horses. But the previous betting odds explanation isn't all that clear. So as the saying goes, tell me and I'll forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. So here's an example to involve you with how betting odds work. Assume we're looking at the betting odds on a football match. The chance of the match happening is 100%, otherwise the bets will not take place. Individual odds are linked to each outcome's probability, just like the value of ingredients are linked to the price of a cake. Sounds fair enough, right? Bookmakers make money by putting these odds together and adding on a hefty margin for themselves. Again, like a baker would when selling a cake. So if we look at our football match example, you have three possible outcomes. Team A wins, Team B wins, and the draw. Let's say Team A are favourites with a 50% chance of winning. Team B are the underdogs with a 30% chance, and the draw is most unlikely with 20%. Together, they all total 100%. In betting terms, this 100% figure is called the overround. If one outcome's odds increase, another's must decrease. Simple. If we convert these probabilities into the three different odds formats, decimal, fraction, and money line, you get something like this. However, these prices are the true value of something happening. If bets are struck at true odds, over the long term, neither bookmaker nor punter would make a profit. But there's more about that in the betting strategy video that will follow this one in the end screen. Bookies ensure they win by subtracting a chunk of value from each outcome's price. It changes the overall overround figure like this. This is why you'll typically see overround figures of 108% to 125% with a bookmaker. Occasionally, they're as high as 140% on events like the Grand National. This is because bookmakers know the entire nation's going to have a bet anyway, so they just jack up their margin. But there's a better option on offer. On a betting exchange like Betfair or BetDAC, betting odds work differently. An exchange platform is a place where users like you and I are free to match bets against each other at a price we agree on. The winner is then charged a small commission when the event is settled. At the time of publish, both the exchanges mentioned in this video offer a flat rate of 2%. So if we're going back to our example, you can see a quick comparison between the different platforms. It's quite shocking really, isn't it? But wait, because the most important bit is yet to come. If you cash out an existing bet, you only pay commission on the winning figure that's cashed out. Supposed to get in bad value on the opening bet and again on the cash out bet. As a brief example, if you placed a back bet on Chelsea that had a true price of 4.5, you'd more than likely get a price of 4.0 with the bookmaker, 3 to 1 in fractional odds. A £100 of 4.0 means a £400 total return. By placing the same back bet with a betting exchange, you'd likely get the 4.5 price, and then pay 2% on your winnings. A £100 of 4.5 is £450 return minus the 2%, which is £7. Total return being £443. Now, the important bit. If you cashed out with a bookmaker, you'd see their margin applied again. Assuming the true price has moved to 3.5, the cash out would be worth £14.29 profit. But a bookie would apply their margin again, offering you the 3.75 price to cash out against. This makes their cash out offer just £6.67. Ouch. Double shafted. However, if we were on an exchange, they'd allow you to cash out your full bet from 4.5 at a price of 3.5. Only then would they apply the 2% commission. Cashing out between 4.5 and 3.5 is worth £28.57. So you'd pay 2% commission on that, a total of 58 pence. The end result for these identical bets on alternate platforms look like this. 6.67 with a bookmaker or 27.99 with the exchange. This is exactly why you should always use a betting exchange instead of a bookmaker. So now you understand how betting odds work, it's time to take a little look at betting strategy, taking it one step further. So click the video on screen here to watch that one next. 
Also, while you're here, if you found the content useful, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.